Hey everybody, I'm back for a video about screen sharing in the VUV, uh, in your VUV meetings with your students. So as you can see, we've got a student here in the class, a fake student, but this is what you're going to see. Um, and if you're in grid view, you're going to see one, two, three, four, multiplied by however many you have as a 25, I think, is the total. You can also select to have them on the right uh, or on top, but I would recommend this one. Okay, so yeah, you also have backgrounds like the one that I have. Just have your, you're a little bit limited. I think there's three. Um, the students have some more, but yeah, you have those backgrounds, and we are going to look today at this share screen feature uh, from the teacher's perspective. Okay, so you're going to go down here to the bottom, and you're going to click on share screen. And the very basic share screen is a whiteboard where you and your students can can write, can write text, can do little squares and little arrows, and at any moment you can clear. You can clear only your own ones, you can clear just your students' ones. Um, so it's a handy little feature just to brainstorm some ideas. Um, it's a little bit dry because you don't really have images, but sometimes the kids like to like to draw and play games and things like that. So yeah, you can turn on and off annotation when you click on annotation in this in this bottom um, toolbar, and this button will take away the student's ability to annotate all of the students in your class. You cannot set that individually, so they can all annotate or nobody can annotate. Okay, so you sometimes need to change the screen when you annotate so you can stop share or you can go directly back to the new share. So if I go to new share, I can see many different features. Everything that I've got on my computer, I can choose to share it. So I have here a tab, which is a Microsoft Edge. You could have Google Chrome, you could have a PDF, you could have a PowerPoint. Anything that you want to share, you're gonna click it. And very important, you're gonna click share PC audio. If you don't click that button, your students won't be able to hear your the audios for the books. Okay, they'll just hear your microphone, but they won't hear any sounds from your computer. Okay, so as I've clicked this button, what I tend to do in my classes is have, as you can see, all of these tabs together. And at any moment you can click on annotate and that's going to bring up the same toolbar that we saw in the whiteboard okay and you can the students can then write in any part of this that that they like you can ask them to circle a certain thing okay so this is a pdf which is being seen from the from the browser and I like to work like this because I can change from one PDF to the next. I can go to Google and if I need to search an image, I can search an image. For example, the kids might not know or the students might not know what the elephant has as a nose. So I'm going to look at the word trunk, elephant trunk. And what I'm going to do to do that, because I don't want to do a, a live search. So what I'm going to do quickly is just pause the screen share. I'm going to type in elephant trunk. And I'm going to check everything is okay. The images are okay. And I'm going to resume. 
and the students will then see again the all of the images with the elephant trunk. Um, okay, so you might have for your classes, for your English classes, you might have PowerPoints, which I also use via the browser because I have uh, OneDrive. This could also work in Google Drive or any cloud surface that you might have. So in the class, I might click on slideshow from beginning if I want to just present the, the slideshow, but I tend to go from the book to the PowerPoint, to the Google, uh, maybe a game. It makes the class a bit more dynamic. Uh, yeah, as I said before, they can annotate any point. I do tend to zoom in a lot to to PowerPoints. So I do this because maybe the students have a very small device like an iPhone, so they need to see this very very close. Okay, um, the tools we talked about. Um, you have the text, you have the graphics. Okay, the students love to uh, interact with these. It is for the screen, so if you do change tab, it's going to transfer to the next tab. But you can clear at any moment, and it's a very quick button. Everything is gone. Very useful button is Spotlight. Okay, Spotlight is very useful if you want to direct the student's attention to whatever it is you're reading or would like them to do. So I say, what is this? Or can you read this? Or I'll ask the question, how many animals can you see? If they didn't understand me, they can read it and know exactly what I'm what I'm asking for them. Um, yeah, so all of these annotations also appear on the recording. When you enter screen share, you have this uh, screen share video. You need to be always on the third button. If you're on the second button, you're only going to see one video. And whoever is speaking will be in the video. And this one is even worse. There's no, no video. So you always need to be on this third one. If you need to silence yourself for one moment, you can click that and, and silence yourself. And that's it for now. We're going to see in the next class um, how this looks from the student's perspective.